And Father Jojo Conde, the parish priest and director of the parish and national shrine of St. Father Pio. I coordinated for the visit of the heart relic of St. Father Pio to the Philippines. Okay, come on. Uh, we are celebrating St. Father Pio's golden death anniversary and centenary of his We are also celebrating it. So, part of our preparation is not only to celebrate it here. We wanted that a special relic from San Giovanni Rotondo will visit the country. Initially, I was uh, asking for the image of Padre Pio with the full relic. If you notice, if you've been there to San Giovanni Rotondo with the glove, the one, in, the one you would see at the museum, with the Abisha, with the chasuble, with glove, with rosary, with sandalias, with medias. We wanted to borrow that for the celebration of the centenary and the uh, golden years of St. Padre Pio's uh, death. Uh, they would not want to have that removed in uh, San Giovanni Rotondo. In fact, uh, the, the, the Franciscan who asked for it thought that the superior thought that we were asking the body of Padre Pio to come here. The answer was, no, 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 impossible. That he said, the heart training is possible that you can bring to the Philippines. That was the first time I got to know that there was a heart training. Probably you've been there, you've not seen it. I was able to go there and I saw the relic of St. Padre Pio. The heart relic was, uh, was preserved intact. It was not uh, uh, corrupt. Corrupted. It was a picture there. It was not uh, corrupted. Uh, and then I got to see it. I was able to go to the room of Padre Pio. The room that you were seeing at the museum was the second room of Padre Pio. I got to enter the first room of Padre Pio from 1916 to 1943. In that room, small one, there was the, 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 it was there when Padre Pio had his first stigmata. The blood was all <coughs> over the floor in his room. I was able to stand in that room. I was able to sit on his bed. I was able to see the, 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 the undershirt of Padre Pio with the blood stain on, on the right side because every first Friday when he says mass, he could always experience carrying the cross. That's why his shirt has a blood stain. There's a shirt there. All the two pictures are there, the Immaculate Heart, the Sacred Heart, and then the, the, the pictures of the parents of St. Padre Pio. Then there was the relic there, the heart relic. At that time, it has only gone out once. It went to, to Boston Archdiocese. Why? Because the Archbishop there was a Franciscan Capuchin. So we were the second country who, who would want that the heart relic would visit. Pero na-manage ng superior ng San Giovanni Rotondo, Father Carlo uh, Laborde, yung mahabang balbas, siya ho nakahiram na madala muna sa Paraguay. Pagkatapos, pagkagay ng Paraguay, numala nung pupunta ng Paraguay, si Pope Francis visited San Giovanni Rotondo Pietro China during the Lenten season, if you notice that in the images. Pope Francis said, pupunta ka pala naman ng Paraguay, pakidaan mo na rin ng Argentina. Mm -hmm. Dahil siya. So, for us to be able to receive the opportunity that the really good visit is a special gift for us. So, mulat po si Carlos Alcino Tagli, so mulat po si Bishop Ben Pabadico of the Commission and Clergy, so mulat po ang aming Archbishop. Hindi ako pwede sumulat po na akong authority. We need bishops to write the San Giovanni Rotondo. Eventually, Napayarin ko natin mahirap yung rally. So, the idea is, we're celebrating the golden anniversary of St. Padre Pius' death and the centenary of his stigmata. Alam niyo na po yan. At aming gustong maganda celebration, mahirap nga itong heart rally dito. Next. Kasabay po nito, we are celebrating the year of the clergy and consecrated persons for which the Catholic Bishops Conference of the Philippines chose St. Padre Pius the model of priests and religious. It was a piece of faith. Na nung hihiramin namin ng rally, nagkataon na pinili nilang na year of the clergy and consecrated life. And incidentally, nung iniisip nila ko sino ang model na santo ng pari at religious, ang pinili nila ay si St. Padre Pio. Ang nagsuggest ng pangalan na santo na model ng priest and religious during this year of consecrated priest and, priest and consecrated life Si Cardinal, Cardinal Chito Tagli. That was when we started making collaboration with the Commission and Clergy of the CBCP. So, nung hinihiram po namin, 
Actually, I, I, I requested for one year para mabisita lahat ng diocese sa buong Pilipinas. Sabi ni Superior, no, 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 no. Imposible. So I requested for three months para rin ma-reach out. At least mga diocese man lamang. No, 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 no. Only 10 days. 10 days na ako So when they said 10 days, we will do it in Lipa only. In, in the National Strike only. But lo and behold, after the letter of Bishop Beto Madigo, they allowed us 20 days. 10 days for the CBCP Commission and clergy, and 10 days for the National Shrine. This is the reason why we're here. Para mapunta ng three major regions of Luzon, Visayas, and Mindanao, na center sa Manila, Cebu, and Davao. So, the idea is for the whole region of Luzon, we'll go to Manila. For the whole region of Visayas, we'll go to Cebu. And for the whole region of Davao, we'll go to Davao. Okay? And this is an integration of the celebration of Father Peter's centenary and golden years and the year of the clergy and consecrated life. Okay, so yung po ano yari. Next. Tell them how long uh, it stayed in Boston and... Uh... In, in, in Boston, it stayed for 10 days. In Paraguay, 8 days. In Argentina, 5 days. In the Philippines, 20 days. Bless ang Pilipinas, they put the Father Peter. 20 days po tayo. Okay? So this is the fourth time that the heart relic will come out of San Giovanni Rotondo. And the fourth, dapat po tayo yung second eh. Masingita na sa Papa. Masingita ng Papa. Kaya tayo naging fourth. 